Hello, uh, my name is Lindsay, and uh, you have probably heard by now about the news that has shocked the community about Royal High 4 being in development. So I made a video about this news yesterday, so if you haven't heard, you can definitely check that video out. But to go with this news, they released a trailer, and today I want to go through that trailer and talk about some things I've noticed, some secrets you may have missed. We did this with the Campus 3 teaser trailer, so I feel like it's only fair to do this with campus 4 as well so first let's go ahead and talk about what we know is coming so we know the student store is coming you pretty much have seen the whole store but just in case you haven't you can see there are signs around the store so to the left we have big bouncy balls to the right you can see a counter probably where you go and pay you can see a shopping cart which is important for a store you have a gift wrap section so that will be very very nice for role plays if you're role playing a birthday party or during glitter frost role playing during the christmas time and then to the left you can see we have student grocery and then to the right we have student dormitory here we have more signs that says hair scrunchies and compact hair brushes i'm pretty sure that is what that sign says and then some more signs i was able to see is tape dispensers and colored construction paper so you're very basic student store stuff very basic stuff you would expect to be in a student store so next we have a room that i am pretty sure is going to be a yoga room so you have a sign that says breathe but if there's another word that is next to it it could be just so maybe the sign says just breathe i am not sure we have yoga mats two colors you can see green and yellow that sunrise or sunset whatever it is is very beautiful but if you look in the mirror you can see in the background vending machines which look exactly like the vending machines from castle heart but they did say they are reusing assets from all the campuses to make development faster so that makes sense and honestly looking at these rooms and places they have in campus four there's not very much in them so they look like they could potentially be less laggy I know that is a problem a lot of players have in Campus 3, so hopefully Campus 4 is more playable. So this next area is a room filled with beds. So this could be a dorm room, and hopefully that means dorm rooms are pre-made. Because from what I understand, Campus 4 is going to be its own thing. So Campus 3 will always exist, similar to the other campuses. So it'd be really nice if Campus 3 has the dorms that you can build yourself. And then Campus 4 has the dorms that are pre-made to be, again, less laggy. And then I love the rug in the middle. Looks like it has all the fairy elements. I see green which is nature, I see red, which could be fire, and then I see yellow, which is light. So maybe this is going to be a pre-made dorm, and a lot of people just go to the dorms and do their sleeping need, and maybe if quests are on campus for as well, their nap quest. So I'm assuming, again, this is a dorm room because of the beds, but it could be something else as well. So next we have this outside area. I'm assuming this is going to be maybe archery class. I will show you later that archery class is going to be in campus four so you have an archery target which seems like it's sitting on what could be a well we have of course this beautiful beautiful area with the water and the waterfalls and the little bridge that goes over to the water very very pretty but in the video as it's going along, there is this section that has what looks to be a building. If I zoom in, you can see a door and two windows. So maybe that will be a lobby or maybe that's the school. Maybe we are exiting the school into this area right there. And those apples, I will say, looks very delicious. And then continuing the outside area, we have graveyards. So this school has its own, uh, graveyard so i guess we are here for life we are here from birth to death i guess <laughs> and we have this thing that looks like enchantraverse so this is good especially if this area is easy to get to especially for new players if powers are still a thing in campus 4 hopefully this enchantraverse area is easier to find especially for new players so they know where to go to get their powers it's a little strange though it's in the graveyard and then we have these gates this gate right here and then later on in the trailer 
we are going through those gates. So I'm pretty sure these are the gates in the graveyard because they look very, very similar. So at first I thought this was going to be a maze because this looks like a maze. You have forward, you have left, and you have right. So you have three paths you can take. I saw this on Twitter. This one is from Strawberry Eddie. Because by the time Barbie was showing this stuff on stream, I was sleeping. So here we do have a better look at the maze on the right. So the left is from the trailer. The right is from the stream. You can tell because you see Night Barbie's head. And it is very spooky. So you have a fountain. So this could be a graveyard maze. But also, it does seem like it is connected to archery class because this photo from RH New School Media on Twitter is where I'm getting this photo from. Again, it happened during the stream while I was sleeping. But you can see the graveyard gates. But you are looking through the graveyard gates into the area that the Enchantiverse is. At, you can see the Enchantiverse stuff right here to the left. But through the gates, you can see a lot of targets. So this is archery class. You can see targets and what looks to be balloons. And you can see this section right here. It has two minutes and has hide players plus arrows. So I'm wondering if archery class will no longer be a PvP game because of all the targets. Maybe you have to hit targets and the person who hits the most targets may win. So I do kind of like what I'm seeing now more than what we have with Royale Archery or Battle La Royale Archery. Next, I am pretty sure this is going to be the ball. They mentioned the ball in the post. This is something players really want. I'm pretty sure this is a ball. Even looks like we have a ballroom floor. I'm assuming this thing that has the hearts going around it and the lights next to it could be a stage. And then maybe we dance around the stage. And then up top we have a balcony and I can see maybe ballroom royalty going up there. I'm pretty sure this is the ballroom. And again, it looks like a very simple build. It looks like you will be able to play here without any lag. Most of what I've seen, except the outside area, looks like good places to go with no lag. And then, of course, this next area is Potionology. We have seen Bianchi building this class. For the past few days, I don't think it's done. There's really not much to say here because we have seen Bianchi uh, building it. Now we have a locker area, which I'm very happy about. This looks like a indoor version of the locker courtyard, which a lot of us miss. The lockers look like they are from Castle Heart. Again, they are reusing assets, so it makes sense. And if you scroll to the end of the hallway or zoom in to the end of the hallway, I'm just scrolling in on my computer. You can see two doors that lead outside. So maybe this is the outside area we saw. Uh, it's a little blurry, but you can see one of those student card scanners that you have to scan in order to open the doors and you can see a blue table up here and there's like benches behind every locker so it kind of makes it seem more like a locker room than a locker area because of the benches and so going through all those photos it does seem like they have a lot done because part of the message from royal high it says literally just like last week development has been going insanely fast and insanely fun so i don't know how long they've been working on this school i'm assuming they've been working on it longer than a week but they have a lot of it Done. So if I counted correctly, we talked about seven areas so far in that trailer. I feel like we have seen seven areas. So it does seem like development is going pretty fast. So hopefully we do see it this year. If we don't get it before summer, I do think summer would actually be a really good time to release it more players will be able to play it. So those are just some secrets and hidden details you may have missed in the trailer. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could like, subscribe, and turn on that bell notification so you never miss when I post and I will see you in the next video. Bye!